Hello, so in today's lesson, we're going to look at how atoms are arranged in metals. That is on page 43 of your booklet. Now, please make sure that your phone is switched off and put away so it's not to distract you. You have no TV on in the background, you're not playing any games, and you have your booklet and a pen ready to do the work. Now, during the lesson, you may see this yellow banner coming up. It says to pause the video when you see the yellow banner. At that time, I would like you to pause the video and complete the task on the screen. When you've completed it, you can unpause the video and continue to watch. We're going to start off doing your do now task in the booklet. So you have a table, you need to complete the uh, element symbol, whether it's a metal or a non-metal, how many electrons are in the outer shell, and when it forms an ion, what is its charge? I would like you now to pause the video to complete the task. When you are done, you can unpause the video and we will go through the answers. So welcome back. You should now have completed your table and it should look like this. Again, you may want to pause the video to go through your answers. You'll notice that for selenium and for neon, they do not form an ion because they already are stable. For selenium, it has four electrons in its outer shell, so it won't gain or lose electrons. And for neon, it already has a full outer shell of eight electrons. When we look at these answers, we see that all of our metal ions will form our metals will form positive ions and all of our non-metals will form negative ions. This will come in useful when we look at how metallic bonding works. Next, I would like you to draw on a bit of paper just showing me how sodium becomes an ion. You can now pause the video and complete the task. So welcome back. You should have now completed the task and you should have done a diagram that looks something like this. We have a sodium atom, which is here, and we have that one electron in the outer shell. We have our electron configuration of two, eight and one, and it's got one electron in our outer shell. When it becomes an ion, it will lose that outermost electron. We now have our first shell with two electrons, our next shell with eight electrons, and we have a positive charge. Importantly, we need to know that actually we still have that electron somewhere around. So we have our electron is moving around somewhere. It still exists, it hasn't disappeared. It is just not attached to the atom anymore, causing this to become an ion. So our sodium is now an ion and we have a free electron. Now, there will be a lot of information on this page, so do feel free to pause it uh, and to go through it if you need to. And when we have metals, again, they will form a giant structure and it's made of millions of atoms. And each one of those atoms is a pot becomes a positive ion they lose the electrons in their outer shell and those electrons in the outer shell become what we call delocalized this word here delocalized so they're not attached to any particular atom anymore and those delocalized electrons can move freely throughout the metal they can move anywhere they want to and this helps give us some of the properties of metals, which we'll look at in our next session. Now, between our negative C of electrons, so all those delocalized electrons that are moving around, and all of our positive metal ions, there is a very strong force of attraction. And we have those opposites attracting, and that holds the metal ions in place and gives us our giant structure. You can see here we have a diagram and we've got our positive 
metal ions present here with the plus in it and our negative electrons our delocalized C of electrons that are moving freely around here these positive ions are all attracted to these negative electrons and that helps hold them in place I see there is some repulsion between these positive ions here however the C of electrons in between them does help to shield that effect and helps to hold them together you can now complete your activities in your booklets. Do rewatch the video again if you need to. Have a great day.